You're watching Ride BMX, I'm Van Homan, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do an overgrind on a rail. I think there's two good ways to start. You either wanna find a really low flat rail, or um, a good spine can also teach you some things as to how to do this trick better. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you know how to do bunny hops and double peg grinds before you learn overgrinds. If you're comfortable with transitions, I think finding a good spine is a good way to learn it. It's safe, you can escape onto the transition, and it really teaches you to learn where your back peg is when you swing it over the spine. And if you mess up, you'll just kinda of land Smith. And if you kinda of just ching your pegs, you'll go into the transition and ride away. And then once you're, if you do it on the spine, once you're grinding, then you kinda of get comfortable with being locked in and you can decide when you go in. Because one of the biggest problems with an overgrind is you land and you, your weight continues to carry you over and you peel right off the rail. After a little bit of practice on the spine, uh, you're ready for the rail. So then you take it to a small flat rail and you basically just bunny hop over the rail and you, you, you want to get a good lean on so that your pegs grab the rail. Like if you don't get the good lean, that's when you'll peel right off it. I like to approach the rail totally just even, even with the rail. I don't like to come at an angle or anything if I don't have to. So you just go straight on with the rail and just transfer, kind of do a little transfer over and, and lean your bike. Your pegs will grab and hopefully you'll lock in and go to the end of the rail. You know, if you lean too much, you're gonna end up having to jump over the rail to bail or if you don't lean enough, you're gonna peel right off. Sometimes a good way to feel it out or warm up is just to find a white line on the street and kind of bunny hop over it and just get used to that lean. It might seem a little corny, but it just helps you get, get used to the way you wanna hop and lean. And then once you're going over a rail, you'll, your pegs will make contact with the rail and you'll lock in. Once you learn it on a flat rail, um, then you can take it to a down rail, which might be a little scarier, but in some cases it's easier. Um, because you don't need to go as fast sometimes and as soon as you land the rail is just going to carry you to the end so if you hit the pegs there's less chance of that kind of that peel off it can still happen depending on the length of the rail but you know sometimes a down rail can be easier even though it's scarier and has higher consequences the overgrinds one of my favorite handrail tricks Obviously, like most tricks, once you learn the overgrind, then you can do variations of it. You know, whether it's a nice pick or doing a trick out of it, the rail, um, there's a, a lot of options. So I hope you have fun with it and good luck learning it. 